Hi guys, my name is Dean Landis, my wife Lori and our son Donovan Landis. And uh, just want to share with you a little bit about our story about Bald Eagle. Prior to coming to camp, I'd say our home was pretty unpredictable and volatile. Donovan had a lot of uncontrollable anger issues. He had difficulty in school and with the neighborhood kids. So before camp, I didn't really see myself going many places. Um, I was just kind of just going through the motions ever since 2014 until I went to camp at 2017. It just, it was a really painful time where I wasn't really doing very much with my life. I was just kind of, you know, doing whatever. And going into camp, that was the main thing that needed to change was how I viewed myself and how I viewed, how I was living my life. I wasn't living healthy. I wasn't living with any intentions on doing anything good. Yeah, I'd say we were at a point in the family where we didn't quite know where to turn, uh, what to do, what our options were. Um, I think Donovan was trying to figure out life the best he could, uh, but he just didn't, really didn't have any tools. We didn't know how to give him the tools to express himself, to really communicate. And it was just, um, like Lori said, very volatile situation. So we really didn't know what else to do at that point. Mostly I think that we felt so inadequate to help Donovan in his journey. But it was definitely God's timing to provide us the connection to be here at camp. When we were first heard about Bald Eagle, it was so outside of our box that I don't even think we knew quite what to do, but we were at a point where we knew something needed to happen. We needed change to happen. And our hope and desire was for Donovan to be able to be a functioning, contributing member of society and live out his purpose that God planned for him. So we had um, Chief Dan and his wife Syl come for our home visit. And I think for the first time I saw hope arise in Donovan's eyes that there are other boys who struggle and have similar issues. And really, I think it gave us all hope. Before camp, there was a lot of hurt that um, I was just feeling really hurt um, with my biological family not wanting to contact me um, and just different reasons that I was struggling, um, whether it was with anger and, you know, coming home to a room that was trashed or just not, be, not being able to have friends at school because of the things that set me back. Um, I just didn't have a high self-esteem level. I just didn't feel like I was worth very much, quite frankly. And coming to camp, that's one thing that they immediately helped me change was my self-esteem self -esteem level. Um, and they just really treated me like family and really took care of me. And coming home on home visit, just the progress that was made with my parents um, and just how they treated me and how, just how we got along as a family was really, really powerful. And coming out of camp, looking back on it, I'm a totally different person than I was before camp. And I'm a totally different person right now than I was when I was at camp. And just camp really equipped me with the skills to like just come home and make new friends. Um, it's a lot different not having those nine boys around you 24 seven, but a lot of things are the same when it comes to having really, really good friends. Camp really taught you what it, what it means to have a good friend, um, friends who's there for you 24 seven. Um, and I've been able to have a few of those coming out of camp. I've been able to talk to the kids from camp, after camp, and just catching up with them, see how they're doing. Um, and a lot of different things that I learned at camp, um, I'm no longer destructive, I no longer trash my room. Um, and just the, the little things that camp teaches you really has stuck with me, just like the little things, whether it's making your bed, which is something that I don't always do now, but just the importance of it and the importance of the other things that you don't really think about at home. Camp really taught you just how important they are. And like I said earlier, my self-esteem level has grown a lot since camp. And camp really taught me that I'm worth something. And coming home, it just, it just carried on until now is the fact that I'm worth something. And the plaque that hangs on my wall in my bedroom that I got when I graduated camp is probably the biggest accomplishment that I ever have accomplished in my lifetime. And it's something that I'm super duper proud of because I dedicated 
about it two years um, into camp and coming out of that, having that plaque on my wall and all the stories that come with getting that plaque on the wall. It's just something that has always stuck with me and I'll never forget Body Boys Camp ever. I think we were all really excited when we learned that Donovan was graduating. All of our other kids and family, we were able to come to graduation and just to hear Donovan's testimony of his time here at camp was super encouraging. Just the voice that he gained while he's, he was here about 21 and a half months. And so then we traveled home and we had to figure out how does what he learned at camp in a more controlled environment and more of a laser focus on problem solving, how does that translate to real world where you have cell phones and technology and you have classmates who don't have the same skills that you have, they don't know the language, and quite honestly, they're not interested in problem solving or finding a resolution. So that was a little bit of a, a bumpy road and continues to probably be one of the larger challenges that we face. Donovan graduated camp with a tremendous skill set, and sometimes he forgets to use those skills that he learned, but that's all part of the maturing process as well. And, you know, I think for each of us, we have that continuing journey in life of solving our own problems and facing the reality of the internal dialogue that we struggle to overcome to find our value and worth. And part of the journey also was learning self-acceptance and this didn't happen the first six weeks at camp, not even the first year at camp. We had lots of ups and downs and uh, home visits where Donovan didn't want to come back to camp. The struggle of not being able to communicate other than in mail, and that was just took a lot of getting used to. Being at camp, Donovan missed out on birthdays and fun family things and it's hard to go on vacation but then Donovan had fun things here at camp too. Yeah camp is a really fun time and like I said earlier it was extremely difficult um, just being away from family. Um, I just had a lot of um, just things going on in my life that needed to change and camp brought that change. Um, it truly helped a lot um, looking back on it. Um, at camp there's a lot of fun things you can do. Go on trips and cut and split wood. Just different things that you can um, you know create and then just with building tents and you know how to make a tent square and just all the fun aspects as far as that, cutting and splitting wood, that was something that I found really, really, really fun at camp. It was really hard, but it was really fun. Cutting down trees, then putting them on a trailer, taking them back to campsite, then cutting and splitting them, getting ready for winter. It was just a lot of fun with, with the group and just problem solving all throughout it. And originally when um, Chief Dan and his wife Phil came to our house, that was kind of what I was focused on. And people would tell me that camp was hard, but I wasn't necessarily ready for all the difficulties that came with camp. Um, but at camp, you know, they really just teach you and bring you in and treat you like a family. Um, I was in the adventure group um, and they just, it was like you immediately had nine other friends just right away that were there for you and would talk to you whenever. And it was really just a great time overall. Um, and just the amount of like camaraderie that we had as a group, just I would be I would be in a problem, and they just stand around me and help me solve the problem for hours at certain points. And just that certain level of camaraderie between a bunch of people who are 11, 12, 13 year old in my group is just it's just nowhere to be found anywhere else. And that's what that's why camp is truly special. It's just because they're just there for you and they treat you like family. And coming home on home visit, it's it's hard to go back. Um, as much as camp's awesome and camp's difficult and as much as camp taught me it was hard to go back home I mean go back to camp um, after being on a home visit but ideally I just wanted to be changed and be a new person and I feel like camp really brought that to me. I'd say before coming to camp Donovan was more of a tech kid. He liked the computers, he liked the video games, a little bit of a couch potato so the thought of dropping him off 
where he's going to live in a platform tent and have to chop his own wood was uh, amusing for all of us. But as Donovan progressed through camp, I think he grew eight inches, but he gained muscle and actually came to a point where the video games and the other things didn't hold quite as much value for Donovan. And those distractions being gone actually helped him to engage in a more present way with his family and life around him. And so that was a huge growth while he was at camp too. Going into camp, um, I ha was really struggling with anger and talking about like my feelings and being able to express them to my parents. Um, and that's two main things that I focused on while at camp and made the most progress with while I was at camp, was being able to go home and talk to my um, parents about what I was feeling. And even at camp, doing the same thing with my group. Um, and that's something that um, from time to time I've kind of grown away from doing and practicing when I've you know, been at home. Because it's not an easy thing to do by any means. But uh, just talking about your feelings and emotions and things that you need to express to other people and camp really equipped me with the, you know, the skills to do so. And then with problem solving, just being able to identify a problem and then solve the problem. That was just the main thing that um, I learned at camp because that's one of the main things you go to camp to do is problem solve. And it just really taught me the, um, how special problem solving is and being able to problem solve on the go you know, wherever you're at, is being able to identify the problem, come up with a solution, um, just right away. And those are just two things that I really learned at camp and can't really help me with. I'd say if you find yourselves up against that hard place and there's no other options that um, don't feel condemned, uh, don't feel like you're something less, parents and sons, um, just know that there's a place that you can turn. And uh, as hard as what it is to go for it, um, and if you take the opportunity, you all will grow through the process. I would probably share something similar, and it would be just to trust the process. Um, we had to release Donovan to the care of people who we knew relatively little about, but camp is a safe place. It's a safe place for the boys to discover, to grow, and it really has grown to be not only part of our story, but it feels like family when we come back. It feels good to be here at camp. I just say, don't be scared to work hard, you know? Camp can be intimidating when you first look at it, but don't wait to make a change. Make a change right away. You're not, not, you're not getting any help from just sitting here and going through you know, the motions, not really gaining anything from it. Um, that was a big thing that I did. I came to camp in the first year or so. I just didn't really make much progress. I was just kind of doing what was required of me. But don't wait and just don't be scared. Um, to get thrown into camp and right away make a change and work and help yourself for the better.